Hi everybody, it's me, Monica, and welcome to another Speed Build. So, today we are going to start with this a little rounded nook that I pre-made be before I started this bookworm's apartment. And it was basically a picture that I found on the Pinterest that you were able to see and i just loved it so much and for quite a some time now i really want to do like a super small over cluttered space so this was just the perfect opportunity for me to do this and i'm going to be renovating the 910 medina studio apartments <laughs> apartment and I believe that's the smallest apartment that we have in San Maishuno. Uh, and it's also my favorite apartment because first of all it's super cute and super small. Uh, and on the other hand it's <clears throat> very easy to come up with the floor plan for it and also, I don't know, I just like that apartment and I would be very, very happy to have more of those apartments in there. Uh, by the way, you guys, if you like this little nook that you are watching right now over here on the screen, uh, you can download it from my gallery and my gallery ID is my symphony, <laughs> if I'm not mistaken. Uh, maybe I am, but you have everything listed in my description as well as my gallery ID. And I made that little nook for the gallery without any CC, so I think that I was using um, Realm of Magic because you definitely need the Realm of Magic because of this window. And also one more pack for this kind of pillows inside of this window but that's everything so definitely check it out uh, it's very easy to put it anywhere basically and i think it could look cute in a lot of different spaces <clears throat> um, unfortunately I'm not, uh, hmm, I'm trying to find the word, um, I'm not the best with tool, uh, I think there are people who are much better in using tool than me, but for my first try on this window I was very satisfied with it. And as you can see we have this small area where the bed is and like a closet that is not functional closet unfortunately it's not functional it's just for show um, as well as this nook of course because it's made out of windows so it's a decorational piece but everything else in the house is functional and also you have three windows that are uh, windows three mirrors that are functional so your sim can change uh, you're going to see that i used literally a ton of clutter in here my computer started lagging so bad <laughs> uh, it was unbearable i was really really happy when i was done with it to be quite honest because i don't know why was it lagging so much because you know i'm doing a huge build with a lot of cc and a lot of clutter and everything and everything works perfectly fine and then then i'm when I'm doing something super tiny and super cluttered, my computer starts lagging. I don't understand, but well, <laughs> it's what it is. I needed to work with that and I'm really, really hoping that you cannot see it uh, here in this uh, video. Uh, but basically, yes, as I already said, everything is functional. My sim Monica was here all of the time and she was play tested 
everything everything that you can see in this house and <clears throat> Uh, since I decided that this apartment is going to be for a bookworm, I literally put books everywhere and I use my favorite books as well in here. I don't use them so much um, anymore, but I decided to use them in here. Uh, by the way, the question that I have for you guys is, do you want me to upload this with, like, in, in more pieces? Because, as you can see, I used a lot of platforms uh, in this apartment, unfortunately, so I cannot upload it as just one room. So, first of all, I want to know, are you even interested in downloading this apartment uh, or you rather not because it's complicated? So, uh, the t by the time this video comes out, uh, I'm not going to have a tray file for you. But when I see all of your comments, requests and do you want me to upload it in parts or what then we are going to uh, figure it out basically also as you can see i use these jardin uh, pieces uh, because i just wanted to recreate that vibe of like curtains flowing everywhere i don't know if that has sense or not but that's really what I wanted to achieve. I don't know, do you remember the picture that you saw at the beginning, but it had the similar vibe. I was really super inspired by that picture and I really wanted to recreate it uh, in The Sims, let's say that way. Um, I couldn't recreate it completely because it has some elements that are just not uh, possible unfortunately in the sims so i made it more mine of course and that that was just a room basically without a kitchen without the bathroom and things like that so i added everything that was missing and yeah unfortunately i didn't put any activities in here since i thought that the person lives in here is very into books so it, that person has only books uh, television and also computer everything else if you want to add something like an easel um, or something that works with this vibe uh, definitely feel free to do it yeah, if we all agree <laughs> that I'm going to upload the, um, upload this to the gallery or the uh, thumbnail, or, uh, thumbnail, Tumblr or whatever. Uh, yeah, um, I was thinking that this house would be for one sim, but I'm not entirely sure, but this bed should work for two sims. But honestly, it's a very tiny apartment, so maybe it would be a little bit awkward if two sims lives in here. Of course, that's because there is so much clutter and just they don't have enough space to walk around each other, <laughs> if you know what I mean. So I think this is definitely a perfect place for um, one sim. Uh, we actually have a couch in here. I was able to put a couch and a rocking chair, so there is definitely a possibility that more than one sim lives in here or that some people came along, hang out and things like that. Um, because we also have a full-size table for four and it's just i think that this apartment has all the necessities but i definitely wanted to focus a little bit more on clutter this time and just putting a lot of books everywhere and plants i think that you notice that there are plants everywhere literally and i love it 
And this was also one of the first time that I was actually able to use some plants from uh, the plant kit. Um, I don't know, I, I wasn't super excited about that kit, honestly, and it has in total, I don't know, four plants that I really like. And at the beginning, I knew that I'm not going to use it much, but this hanging plant that you can see on the right side next to the window it looks so beautiful it really looks beautiful and it has a lot of different swatches it's very versatile and it's definitely my favorite plant from that kit and it's probably the only plant from that kit that i'm actually using I would say constantly, but that's not even true. <laughs> it's not constantly, but from time to time, I'm actually using it. Also, uh, you're going to see me struggling with this long wall. And literally in this apartment, I always have the same problem. And the problem is that this part of the wall is super long. It doesn't have any windows, any doors, anything, and it's super long, and I don't know, it's always so awkward to work with it, I never know entirely what I want, so I was changing some things throughout the time <laughs> while I was involving in my ideas, I was ch changing it, and I'm in love. I'm in love how it turned out. It's just perfect. I never did anything like it. And uh, it looks so homey, uh, like the rest of this apartment. It definitely looks fairy tale-ish. It has that fairy tale quality in this apartment. And I really like that because I haven't done anything fantasy before white some time now and of course just so you know I'm planning on doing something fantasy very very soon especially something dark would be nice or some kind of tree house or just I don't know I, I, I don't have the finished product <laughs> right now in my head but I'm definitely going to do something fantasy soon. So just so you know that you can expect something. And I'm really, really thinking about it. Should I do something lighter or something darker? <laughs> so definitely tell me in the comments what would you like to see as my fantasy build because I totally have a ton of fantasy inspirations right now in my head. So let it out, you guys. Let it out and tell me what do you want. Of course, I know that there is a lot of people who want vampires and witches and all of the things that I'm good at and I really appreciate that you you guys that's amazing that you um, seen that in me that quality that I have for uh, darker builds but I really want to ch challenge myself and do something that I still didn't have or haven't done so if you have any interesting ideas, please share it with me. I would really, really um, like to know what would you like to see out of uh, my fantasy abilities. <laughs> and on this part of this apartment, I put so many books. Like literally on all the doors, on the... I don't know. I don't know. They're everywhere. 
and in this living room as i said i decided to put some sitting area in here and that couch is actually actually from linzu uh linzlu linzlu yeah and she is one of my favorite cc creators from the older generations um, of CC creators because she's not producing CC anymore if I'm not mistaken uh, but all of her CC is super beautiful rustic just works perfectly with my vibe so every time basically when I'm doing something more fantasy or more cottagey like I really really like to use um, Linz Lu in those moments because she has some amazing amazing items in her collection so definitely check her out you guys uh, all of her custom content is free so <laughs> you are not going to have any problems downloading it and she also making some uh, cute kiss items or like medieval times and things like that so yeah check her out um, I'm really hoping that in some point some CC creators that I really liked before that they will be back <laughs> I don't know maybe they just got tired of The Sims 4 I get it but I really wish they could get back that's all I'm going to say and here we are in this kind of cute little bedroom super awkward super long and super skinny and I don't have much to say about it uh, except that I did my best to make it look interesting because as I said it was very awkward shaped um, I usually don't like skinny long rooms because they're quite yeah hard to work with I would say it like that so I'm going to say my bye byes right now and I'm just going to say thank you for all of your support kind comments and just everything you guys i love you so much and i cannot wait to see you again very very soon i'm sending you a lot a lot of kisses bye bye you guys